This is Jimmy again. I'm demoing uh, just an expiratory flutter device. This one's the brand name is Acapella. Um, something commonly used in a lot of hospitals, outpatient units. Um, you'll see this used on a lot of different type of patients, usually that have difficulty uh, expectorating their mucus. So if you've seen these before, they work really well. There's, there's many other ones, some of them that open up and you can take home with you and clean and all kinds of different stuff. I'm just going to show you this one right now. Just a couple basic things to kind of teach your patients when you set these up instead of just sitting up there and say, oh, blow on this thing 10 times an hour or whatever. So there's some, there's some nice tips that you can give them. So inside this device, the patient will ex exhale into it forcefully. Um, inside the device, there is uh, a couple of flaps and they'll kind of move and cause vibrations. And we want those vibrations to resonate down the airways and really into your large and middle airways. Um, they're not going to get all the way to the lower airways. And if we can get the mucus off of the trachea, trachea bronchial tree, all the way down, and just move it into the actual lumen of the airways, we'll be able to cough it out. So this won't actually help them get it totally out. It will knock it loose so they can still cough. So this, in combination with a cough, is what works, not this instead of a cough. So that's really key. So on the end of it, there's a resistor. Uh, it increases resistance. It has a plus and a minus. Uh, I'm sure you've seen these before. I'm going to turn it all the way up so I have a lot of resistance because um, I'm a younger feller, so it shouldn't be any problem for me. Our older patients, we have to turn the resistance down a little bit. Now, there's a couple key parts to having your patient exhale into these. For one, they need to take a really big deep breath in. Start off, seal their lips around it. When they exhale, exhale forcefully and they really want to extend their period of exhalation. And I'll show you an example real quick. So, in. Breathe in, so you notice how long I exhaled. What I've found with a lot of patients is you don't really start to knock the mucus off or really start it going until you get right to that very end of exhalation. So you got to think when you take your breath in, your airways are very flexible. They're going to expand. You're going to exhale into this. They're going to get smaller and they're going to continue to vibrate. As, as they get to that last part of the exhalation, that's really when it knocks it loose. And you really hear them cough at that point. That's the time where you want them to really try to cough hard to get it out. Because you don't just want to do this. and then breathe normal. You want them to cough after they're done, after each time they do it. Because if it knocks it off the airway, we, airways, we want to get it out, or at least get it up into the trachea and large airways so that we can get it out. So you notice one thing that I did do, keep my cheeks really tight. You don't want it to look like this. See how the vibrations are kind of resonating up here? Tight cheeks the entire time resonates it down lower each time. So. That's resonating down lower in my airways instead of up in my up in my oral pharynx, which isn't going to do much for mucus. So, uh, tight cheeks, a prolonged exhalation, and then a strong cough after. So, we usually recommend this 10 times an hour. Also, um, this is something that they're going to do while they're sick. They don't recommend it for like long, long periods of time, especially when they're feeling really well, unless they have. Um, a disease that produces a lot of mucus like chronic bronchitis, uh, cystic fibrosis or something like that. But let me give you the full rundown and then uh, we'll be finished with this. So big breath in, long exhalation, and then a big cough after. <coughs> Each time after and I'm not mucusy today, but I could even feel some come out. So that's good stuff for respiratory therapists.